yet another parent in Schenectady County has been criminally charged with causing the death of their own child. Dan Levy has been following this tragic saga of Skylar Pettit since the middle of last summer. Tonight, wheels of justice begin to roll forward. Dan joins us live from in front of the alleged crime scene in Rotterdam. Good evening, Dan. Rachel, good evening. Tonight with the arrest of Skylar Pettit's mother, Amber, on homicide-related charges and with the arrest of Amber's boyfriend on other charges, we are also finding out much more information about the alleged cruelty and the agony that Skylar endured inside this house behind me over the last several months of her life. This saga began to unfold, really, in the middle of last summer. It was July 21st when police from Rotterdam first got to this residence. That's when 24-year-old Skylar with Down syndrome and diabetes and other disabilities was found in the home. Her mother, Amber, by the way, was her primary caregiver and protector. But when Rotterdam police arrived at the family home on Greenpoint Avenue on July 21st, they found Schuyler's decomposing body in her bed wrapped in blankets and plastic. They believe she had been dead for roughly four months. Amber Geyer now charged with manslaughter, criminally negligent homicide, and endangering an incompetent person. And Amber's boyfriend, Ricky Loika, faces concealment of a corpse and hindering prosecution charges. Charges. Schenectady District Attorney Bob Carney says Amber just stopped buying insulin for Skylar in 2022 and basically just gave up caring for her daughter. Her body was unable to process carbohydrates and instead was breaking down whatever muscle and fat tissue she had left. In addition, she had a severe untreated skin condition that made her susceptible to infection. These conditions caused her death due to a cardiac arrhythmia uh, with a possible pneumonia, all resulting from inadequate care of her diabetes by her mother, who is also an LPN. Uh, it's odd that uh, it, it took this long. I'm not a, a law enforcement by any standard, so I don't necessarily understand the entirety of the process. I will say that, but I've, I've seen a lot of movement on other things a lot quicker than this. and and. For what we saw today in the press conference, I'm, I, I still, there's still some questions, I think. Well, tonight, Amber is also facing charges uh, uh, of grand larceny, allegedly for uh, taking the benefits that Scholar was uh, collecting from her SSI. Now, tonight, Ricky is free on recognizance, and Amber Geyer is in the Schenectady County Jail, unable to, to come up with $150,000 cash bail. Live in Rotterdam with coverage you can trust, Dan Levy, News Channel 13.